student worship team. I'm the youth pastor at New Life Church with uh, the bishop, uh, testing one team, um, Jeff Blackburn, and we came all the way from Hammond, Tennessee. We just, uh, we're doing a, a little tour, um, and um, we just came up with a new album called I'm Clean, and we'll be selling that this um, right. today after church. So if you can help support our ministry, that would be amazing. I promise that it's going to bless you. And it's all coming from our worship team, all middle school and high school students. Uh, so I think that is pretty incredible <laughs> that God is just utilizing um, our students to worship the Father. Because they could be anywhere else, but they decided to do it in church uh, and worship. So give them a hand. So we're going to have some praise and worship today. Are y'all ready for some praise and worship on today? Can everybody rest on your feet for praise and worship if you can? Easy song.
there's no one above you, Jesus. God, there's no one besides you, Jesus. God, we only worship you, Jesus. God, we only worship you, Jesus.
Father, we love you in the morning prayer of our daily Let's be read, John. Amen. 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 Good morning, Shiloh. Good morning. Good morning, Shiloh. Good morning. What they say, if God is for us, who could be against us? Amen. Our scripture reading this morning is going to come from the book of Psalms. Psalms 119. And I'll be reading from the NIV version. Psalms 119. And once you find it, we're going to ask that you can stand to your feet. Because if you can't stand on your feet for the Lord's word, on, you're going to stand on, up for anything. Amen? That's right, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so we're going to ask that you stand when you have it. Psalms 119. Amen. If you can. Amen. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Mm. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy percepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep the statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprighteousness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes. Oh, forsake me, not utterly. I've read Psalms 119, verses 1 through 8. May the Lord add a blessing Amen. to his already blessed word. Amen. Father God, over that dangerous highway, that unseen Father God, we just so 
so grateful and thankful, Father God. And Father God, bless you for friends and family, Lord God, that has come this morning, Father God. I see some familiar faces, Father God. Bless their homes and their families, Father God. And when they get home, Father God, their home be better than what they left, Father God. Father God, we pray right now for those that don't know you for the pardon of your sins, Father God, that you forgive each and every one of us of our sins, Father God. That you are forgiving God. You are a reward of those that didn't yes. seek you, Father God. And we are so ever grateful to give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Oh, Father God, my strength and my redeemer. Yes, we are so ever grateful, Father God. Bless the ushers, Father God, as they stand around the walls, Father God. Bless them in a mighty way, Father God. And Lord God, this magnificent choir, Lord God, use them. Lord God, give them traveling mercy as they travel back to their homes, Lord God. We are so ever grateful that you allowed them to come to bring songs of joy to us, Father God. We give you all the glory, honor, and the praise because you're truly worthy of all praises. We thank you, Father God. Yes, God. Those that had no attentions to come this way, Father God, bless them in a mighty way. We give it all to you right now, Father God, in Jesus' name, that all God's children say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Father God. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Thank you, Father God. Because of who you are, Lord. Amen. Our old song says,
Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you, Jesus. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. God, you love me even when I didn't love myself. Thank you, God, for keeping me, God, from the seen and the unseen. From the known and the unknown. God, I thank you, Jesus. God, that we say hallelujah, it's the highest praise. When I can't say anything else, God, I just say hallelujah. Despite of what the circumstances is, God, I say hallelujah. God, you are the lover of our souls. God, and we will forever give you praise. The times may shift, God, but you remain the same. God, you remain consistent. When society wants to make their own decisions for what our lives are supposed to be, God, you remain the same. Your word is still the word, and we're going to stand on it. And we still say hallelujah. God, because you will never fail us. Friends may shift, family may be flaky, but God, you still remain the same. Hallelujah, God. How great thou art, 
We have offerings done by our trustees and ushers. And the prayer will be done none, by none other than our own big and Wayne Rich. That order, please. Come on, y'all get ready. We're waiting on y'all. <laughs>
<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I pray that everyone felt welcome when they came through that door this morning. Amen. 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 We would like to thank uh, Medicine Lance Jeter as well as the New Life Student Worship Amen. Team from Perryman, uh, Tennessee. Is there anyone in here that would like to stand and, and give their name and the church's name and the pastor's name? You're welcome to do so, but don't feel any pressure. Do it. Amen. All right. I'll stand. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Um, family. I'm uh, uh, Pastor uh, Michael um, Armstead. I am the youth pastor at Hereman Church of God. Oh, Jesus. New Life Church of God. Let's <laughs> change our name. <laughs> and I'm um, uh, the pastor of Jeff Blackburn. And we are so honored to be here at Shadow this morning. Amen. 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 Bringing greetings from uh, my old Baptist church. My name is uh, Patrick Foreman, where I'm the deacon, uh, one of the deacons at uh, my old Baptist church, where uh, Pastor Dr. Raymond A. Bell is uh, our senior pastor there. Bring you uh, greetings, and uh, it's such a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord. I knew my friend was going to be in town, so I, I, I told him, I said, hey, I'm going to be here a minute. But I gotta run down the road and see my good friend. Oh, right. <laughs> Thank you, for being here. Amen. 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 All right. All right. Um, the only announcement I have is that next uh, Saturday at um, 9 a.m. we have a church offices meeting, and then at 10 a.m. we have a church business meeting. And also to continue to pray for the sick and shut in. And the only other thing is just to remind you that there are hot dogs and hamburgers outside at the end of service. We want to thank uh, Sister Bernada Jackson and her husband Anthony Jackson for providing that for us today. Amen. 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 And also the New Life Student Worship Team will be selling their CDs outside as well. So grab a CD and uh, grab a hot dog and hamburger and stick around for a little while after service. Amen. 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 I want to thank David Clark and his protege. <laughs> that team got some help. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do an introduction of the speaker. What are we gonna do that? Oh, here it is, right here. <laughs> I mean, what is church if you can't have some fun? <laughs> Now, I know this young lady is proud of this okay. ministry here. Yeah. But we're going to have Sister Christy G to come and introduce her. Amen. Amen. Followed by that, we're going to have two selections, or three, <laughs> by the New Life Student Worship Team out of Tennessee. And after that, we're going to have a word from speak of the hour. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get out the way and I thank you all for letting me be your worship to connect with people, encourage and uplift the young and the young at heart, as well as a desire to educate all those whom he comes in contact with to spread the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Each day as he continues to study God's word, he becomes more and more excited about God's amazing grace, goodness, and mercy 
and dedicates himself to the Lord's kingdom building. After the next election, uh, please open your mind, heart, and spirit to receive a blessed message of what thus saith the Lord. Amen. 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 Well, we're going to do some songs from our um, album that we have just released this past um, Saturday. Um, and uh, it's just, it's amazing to see a journey of all my young people. I've been at the church for two years now, and just to see the growth uh, of them and what God is doing in their lives and raising up leaders and who knows, pastors, ministers, who knows? And just seeing God just use them. And um, we're just um, so excited um, to be able to minister um, these songs for today. So, um, can y'all shout, he got up? He got up. Can y'all say, he got up? He got up. Oh, I love Jesus. And he got up just for all of us. So that's going to be our first song on today um, before uh, we do our next song. So you can play that track for us. So help us sing this song on today. Put your hands together. Hey. Hook. Hook. Now we come to worship you, Jesus. Hey. 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 Say he got us. Hey, I'll give you prayer. Hey, because 
talk about this, right? Y'all see me back here crying, but I'm a man. Because I know who I belong to. And the tears that went down my face are some of the scars that I had to go through. Oh, nothing like he can do with us. Woo! Woo! Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Y'all done stirred it up this morning. Y'all done stirred it up this morning. Everybody in here, I can feel you. Come on. You want to know something? See? Good God Almighty. God is so good and so wonderful. God is so good and so wonderful that he allowed all of us to be here this morning. See, somebody may see that as something small. But he woke us up. Y'all heard him say, he got up. And he allowed you to get up this morning. It wasn't that car to stop us. It wasn't that alarm clock. I said last week, Krista told me, she said, what are you talking about? It wasn't that neighbor that's behind side you in the bed to nudge you and say, hey, I need you to get up. It was the Holy Spirit. Good God Almighty. Good morning. Good morning, church. Good morning, ministers of music. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, deacons. Good morning, everyone that's assembled here. God is in this place this morning. And I'm excited. I don't know about you. But see, in the book of Jeremiah, it says, Fire, shut up in my mind. And guess what? I'm not going to be around. I'm not going to be around. I have to share it, right? See, the Bible tells us, in one of those commandments, go and tell of the good news. That's right. Huh? Like, God, look, you got to stir it up. It's stir it up this morning. And it's you, Sunday. Huh? Huh? I see all these babies in here this morning. Good God, Mike. Ain't God good? Ain't God good? church, but yet you run into these same people in Walmart, in the bar, all up the street in the grocery store, don't have a mask or nothing on, but they didn't want to go ahead and say, hey, you can't spend some time with the Lord that won't go this Let me stay on my side. If the Lord will flow through, we'll be here all day. I ain't trying to keep y'all all day. But look, I'm going to start us off. Like Deacon Wolfhard said, you got to be able to have a little fun, right? That's right. I'm going to be able to have a little fun. Sometimes we get so serious. I'm going to say it just like that, like an old person. Get so serious. <laughs> that people will see you and say, oh, that's the church folk. Let me just stay over here. You know, because what they're going to do is they're going to look down their nose and say, oh, well, they doing this. And they doing that. And guess what? I prayed this morning when I sit in the pocket lot with the sins that I committed in my mind coming up the road. You have to be transparent Amen. in order for somebody to want to know who Jesus is to walk through the walk. Amen. Amen. So the joke that I'm going to give y'all this morning, a little quick joke. We got two little kids. I'm going to use my kids. So Bea is 12 and LJ is 9. So they're going to stay at Granny's house, right? So they go on to stay at Granny's house. So Granny say, it's time for bed. I need y'all to sing me praise. So they in there praying, and, and LJ, he gets loud. That's my son. That's my son. Those are my first names. So wave your hand, LJ. That's LJ. So LJ in there praying, and he praying loud. He said, God, can you give me a new Xbox? God, can you give me a new mindset? God, I want that iPhone 14. So they are going to punch him in the side. Why are you praying so loud? God ain't deaf. <laughs> I know, but Grandma is. So this morning, so for something, I know y'all know it, I know y'all probably know it too. My hallelujah belongs to you. Y'all know that, right? Yes. Are y'all help me say? It? I need to, I need to see your mouth move. You see, he wanna he wanna hear it too. Even even if it 
sound like it might be a rock. It's all right. You gotta push it out there. So, my hallelujah belongs to you. children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. Well, all right. 
That's our message for today. You can go ahead and take your seat. That's God's reading. Now the subject for today's lesson is Are We Dang It? All right, now. Come on. All right. I don't know if y'all seen that movie. <laughs> Can anybody raise their hand and see the movie? Has any of the babies, has any of the babies seen the movie? <laughs> y'all haven't seen the movie yet? Okay, all right. Well, we'll go ahead and jump into it. But what it is, in this movie, Ice Cube is one of the main characters. No, he is the main character. His name is Nick. And Mia Long is in this movie as well. Y'all know she's in a little bit of controversy going on with her husband and whatnot. We're not going to go into that. <laughs> we're going to pray for them. That's what we're going to do. All right, so then she has two kids. And see, the, mu the movie sets the stage where Ice Cube, he immediately sees this young lady and he falls in love, right? He said, I think I'm in love. With the single mom, and she has to go out of town because of her job. So I'm fast forward to try to get to the message, right? And Ice Cube agrees to bring her kids to her. That's the start of our journey. All right. So before we move forward, has anyone taken a long trip yeah. with their kids? Yeah. <laughs> has anybody? Yeah. Has anybody had them cheer and say, and I'm gonna say cheer, <laughs> had them cheer and say, are we there yet? Yeah. Are we there yeah. yet? Every five minutes, yeah. are we there yet? Yeah. Are we there yet? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we take a long trip and we say, are we there yet? <laughs> but see, you can say that are we there yet two ways. Either you can say it being defeated or being encouraged. Hmm. Well, if we're speaking of the Israelites, y'all know the Israelites. We call them stiff necks sometimes. Now, I ain't talking about nobody here. But you know, some church folk can fit into that category. Um, so, the Israelites were speaking in a defeated way. Matter of fact, they thought that Moses and Aaron had brought them into the wilderness to kill them. Hmm. But see, Moses and Aaron had brought them out of bondage. Come on now. Put them out of bondage. Yeah, right. yeah. We still had some fuss. Okay, all right, see. Say that again. He put them out of bondage. But see, back, we read Exodus 15, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go back to Exodus 14. Actually, something was talking about that. Back in Exodus 14, see, God spoke to Moses to lead the Israelites from bondage to freedom. Mm. See, Moses led them through the Red Sea as he parted a miracle when he raised his staff and they were able to walk on dry ground well, through the sea. Uh -huh. Brought them out of bondage. Yet we still complain. Well, mm -hmm. mm. All right. Destroy Pharaoh's arm. Come on. Mm. The people who try to kill us, the people who try to destroy us. He get us out that situation. But yet, yeah, still back. Well, mm, okay. Come on. See, the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hands of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead at the seashore. So now we're gonna fast forward because even now, after being saved, we still complain. Say with me. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh, we got to get right out of that one. Say it again, Are we there yet? Are we there yet? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. See, in the movie, Nick has to cater to these kids. And they ain't some good kids, right? They, they, they really out to get it. They set booby traps and all kind of stuff to get him not to want to be with the mom, right? Because of the situation with their dad. Okay, so they focus it on me, and we're gonna consider the kids to be the Israelites. Maybe even some of us. Maybe even some of me sometimes. I mean, I'm gonna say it, because you know I'm transparent. I'll stand up and say it. Um, some of me sometimes. So, thinking that what he wants to do is not in their best interest. Not knowing he's there for the long run. See, 
if you think about it, God sent Moses. Yeah. Right? To take them out of the bondage. But they grumbling to Moses and Aaron. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was a So, for Nick, Nick is, what do you say, a rough guy, right? It's Ice Cube. So, if y'all know who Ice Cube is, he's a rough guy. But he plays the part that he starts to soften his heart. So, he starts to like these kids. He wants to take good care of them. He wants to make sure they get the way they're going. Safe. Mm -hmm. He stays consistent and focused on the journey. So let's pause for a moment. See, this journey that I'm talking about in here is the movement of the Israelite people. But the journey that I might be displaying for some of you all is the journey that comes in a number of ways. It can be physical, it can be spiritual, and it can be mental. The journeys that we take. See, for our young folk and the young at heart, the journey that we may be on today is not one that we're traveling, but it's a journey of we want it to be over with and done. What are, what are you saying, Lance? What are you saying? Are we dead yet? Can I get out of this abusive relationship? Can I get out of this work or job that's a dead end? Can I get some help because my kids are driving me crazy? Well, hmm, I'm sitting in church, but I'm not getting there. Is God here? Hmm, those are the journeys that I'm talking about today. See, we focused on what the word journey meant by a whole group of people moving, but sometimes it's us getting from point A to point B. So sometimes it can be just us waking up in the morning. Some of us have pains and aches where we got to take all of this medicine to be able to move forward to do what we would have to do throughout the day. And we may grumble. Well, we may complain. Well, come on. Hmm. And see, for some of our youth that are here this morning, it could be, I don't want to go to school. <laughs> Maybe my teacher ain't teaching me like I need to be taught. Or could it be some bullies that's in the school that deters me from getting the education that I need? Is there help? Hmm. Are we there yet? Say with me. Are we there yet? Hmm. See, somebody here this morning is going through a trial. And in that trial, we forget where he has brought us from. Well, wow. See, the rearview mirror is small. We can see what happened back there, or has happened back there, but the windshield is big. Hmm. We have some prospering to be able to do. Hmm. And we want it to be over with. For some of us today, depression and anxiety fits that mold. But some of you all that's sitting out there, you hear younger and younger, we have kids trying and wanting to commit suicide, Ooh. not understanding or knowing where to go or where to turn. Well, mm. Point A to point B, not realizing that mom and dad are there to help, but yet we allow social media to kind of dictate and override all of the things that we say and push forward. We want to fit in a lifestyle that in our minds or in Instagram or in Facebook that says we have to fit. Yeah. Hmm. Today is Youth Sunday, but I wanted to go a little bit deep about the journey. Because I wanted us all to get it. Because we are all in this thing together. Well, uh -huh. Say with me. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> all right. So let's go ahead and get into this thing. See, God makes provision for us, right? Like he did for the Israelites. See, the Israelites thought that Moses and Aaron were going to kill them due to no food. However, in Exodus 16 and 4, the Lord says to Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven. <coughs> See, today's lesson 
it comes up with three points that I want us to be able to take from us being able to look back at where God has brought us through and where he's placed us. One of the points being be consistent. Yeah. Stay the course of your journey. Even when things get bad, keep pushing. And if you know what the acronym PUSH stands for, pray until something happens. See, us parents have to be more on our knees as opposed to wanting to go and fight the neighbor or the, the mama because that child is doing something for our children. We have to be leaders within the community where they can look up to us when we see a child is not doing right and I can pull their coattail and just say their name. They will understand that there's authority that comes along with it. For us in the church, we got to take back the leadership role as opposed to allowing it to go to social media and these other aspects. And granted, I'm telling y'all, what I got written here is not what I'm talking about because the good Lord sometimes push some things out. We have to take a stand for our children. The journey sometimes we think is on us all the time, but sometimes those that watch us, which are these littles, with the eyes that allow the mirror to perceive what we say and do to take back and be able to harm others and themselves. Mm. Say with me. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Mm. See, again, I would go back. See, the Israelites, we'll take it back to the Israelites. They thought that Moses and Aaron was going to kill them. They fussed them. They talk about ain't nobody cook no chicken. Ain't nobody cook no green beans. We ain't got no potato salad after church. What's going on? Not realizing that the person that supposed to have brought it has something going on. The journeys that we go through. Or oh, for the kids. I want to watch cartoons. I want to I look at these channels. I wanna, oh, I'm on YouTube, and then all of a sudden, something perverted shows up. Yeah. And the door gets closed. Mm -hmm. Hold up, man. What, why your door closed? Mm -hmm. What you in that door? Oh, no. The journey. Are we there yet? Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, come on. See, God said in Exodus 16 and 4, again, I will say, the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you. And the first of the three points is to be consistent. Stay the course. That's right. Of your journey, even when things get bad, keep pushing. See, in Psalm 34 and 19, many evils confront the consistently righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Second point, stay focused. Stay focused on the goal at hand. See, in Proverbs 4 and 25, it said, let your eyes look straight ahead and your sight be focused in front of you. You all know the story of Peter when he stepped off the boat. Oh, yeah. This man walked on water with Jesus. Well, yeah. Get a murder. But as soon as he lost focus to pay attention to the environment around him, he started to see. Yeah. But guess what? <clears throat> Jesus pulled him up. Well, I'm going to keep going. Mm. See the relationship. See in all things, stay in relationship with the Father. He will provide provision. Hey, baby. <laughs> Just like he did for the Israelites. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. Psalm 24 and 5 said, they will receive the Lord's blessings and have a right relationship with God, our Savior. Mm -hmm. And see, at the end of this movie, Nick got the kids to the mom despite all the adversity. And even though she didn't want him at first. He stayed consistent. Ooh, come on, come on. Consistency. Focused. And guess what he did? He built a relationship with the kids. And they all live happily ever after. And y'all know that that sometimes don't always happen. But guess what? He woke us up. That's it. That's it. He woke us up. Yeah. Meaning he gave us an opportunity That's right. to make that happy ever after happen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I just said. Y'all heard my puppy puppy. That kind of went on. <laughs> but my happily ever after. So today, on the journey that we may be going on, stay consistent. 
Stay focused. Maintain that relationship. Hmm. See, I don't know what journey some of you may be on, but I do know this. Stay consistent to path. Stay focused your goal. And most important, get or maintain a relationship with the Father. But he will oh, yeah. make provision. Oh, yeah. Amen. May we all stand. Amen. There may be one here today who desires a relationship with our Father. See, in Matthew 11 and 28, Jesus says, come to me all, you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hmm. Or maybe you have stepped away from Christ and you just want to renew your relationship. Come now and recommit to the one true king. In Matthew eleven twenty nine, 29, Jesus continues to say, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. Will there be one? Well, will there be one? Father God, we know that those that are assembled here are on a journey. That journey may be rough and tough, but we know if we stay consistent, stay focused, and have that relationship all will be with you. Because God provides provision. He allows us a way out of no way. Well, he gives us this thing called everlasting life yeah, if we believe in him. Yeah, yes. Will there be one? Yeah. Here I am to worship here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to
stuff and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy to God our Savior who alone is wise be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forever Amen, Amen. Go in peace. Amen.